Hey everyone, it's still Horror Month here on the Nerd Herd channel. So today, I'm going to show you how to make a more horrific panel for your comic. We're going to go from something like this, to something like this. Before we get started with today's draw along, I just wanted to talk about horror comics for a moment. When creating a horror comic, unlike a film, we have to rely only on what we can see to build tension. The use of shifting camera angles, close-ups and shadows can really help sell the impact of a scene. And that's what we'll be doing today. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay then, we have today's um, drawing. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and make this scene more impactful. As I showed you just before at the beginning of the video, horror in comics is about getting across the terror in a character. Um, comics are like mimes. Uh, it's like watching a mime. Um, they kind of got your characters kind of got to oversell it. So here, I have a scenario. So let's say you're working on a comic book and a with a writer, and the writer has said to you, um, "We're going to do this scene." Uh, Anne enters the room and is horrified by what she sees. You could draw it like this but Anne doesn't look too horrified. So we want to make it more impactful. We want to change the angle up a bit. We want to use a better, sh use some more shadow and get a better sense of something terrifying um, in the scene before you have the monster reveal. And next week we'll draw a monster. So this week we're going to focus on kind of the impact um, the artist has to use to create the horror of a scene to uh, make sell the fact that the person in the scene, the character in the scene, is terrified. So firstly what I would do is I'm going to change the angle on this. So I think the angle used for this, this um, uh, mid shot, we want to use, I think we want to use like an upward shot. So I'm going to go in with my uh, blue pencil to begin with and I'm going to, you know what, let's go at a Dutch angle. So a Dutch angle, if you don't know, is, um, have you ever watched Batman, the 60s Batman and they always put the camera at a crooked angle? That's a Dutch angle. So Anne enters the room and is horrified by what she sees. So I'm going to have Anne stood in the doorway. So we got this kind of here angle. So this is a, um, a you know what, I should have done this on another layer. Let me uh, get this all done on another layer a minute. Okay, so yeah, where was I? Right. We've got this Dutch angle shot going on. This is a uh, three point. Uh, angle shot so we got a, a uh, vanishing point up there and two vanishing points down here so I'll make a little quick little grid so there we go we kind of got a little um, perspective grid going on And I'll just make those lines bigger. Right, so now we got this perspective grid here. I'm gonna have the door opening, like so. And any line here will follow up to this imaginary vanishing point that's up, way up here somewhere um, as well. So, there we go. The door acts as a frame as well. So I'm going to scribble in and And this is all about gesture drawing as well. Gesture drawing is drawing the gesture of your character. Um, they can be... Over exaggerated again. It's a comic. Think of think of like a mime. Uh, 
you know what, I don't like her hand down there, so we'll move that. So this is just drawing a stick figure at the minute. Have some reaction lines as well, like uh, there. And I'm just gonna cartoon in the eyes, just so I know what her facial expression is gonna be. Right. So I've left this space down here. Um empty for a reason that's because that's where Claire's going to see the thing that's horrified her so in this case I think I'm just going to draw in a hand a very poorly drawn hand to begin with That little finger doesn't look right. And let's put some red. There's uh, some blood in there, that there. So we've got a hand lying on the floor. Which Claire has seen. And she's reacted to. Here as well. I'm going to. You know what? I'm going to have everything. It's a dark room. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some X's there to tell me that it needs to be inked in black. So that's our stick figure. So already the scene is more dramatic than the original uh, page. Um, what I'll do now is I'll go in and we'll start building this up properly. But that's your sketch stick figure. So think of angles when you want to draw something um, more dramatic as and um, think of body positioning as well. Okay, on to the inking stage. So I'm going to start inking over my guidelines. And I'm going to focus on uh, Anne first. Ooh, and I'm going to change the weight of my pen line. So she's much smaller in this panel than uh, the other one. And so we're not going to have as much of a zoom in on her face. But again, hands to her mouth. Stifle that scream from seeing the hand on the floor. So I kind of put this arch in her back. She stood up straight. Stretched out because of the fear. Like when you see something and you get scared and you jump. And your whole body reacts. It's a good thing with ponytails and uh, capes and everything like that. You can add motion to your characters as well. Right, so there we have 
Claire, Nat Claire and Claire is the character from The Last Iron Here Yard, which I will promote at the end because I've got to make that money. Right, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to shade her in. Uh, my light source is kind of coming from is coming from behind her, but there's going to be little bits of light coming in from the room as well. So it's just scribbling. Again, with horror stories or crime stories, um, lighting really helps amp up the drama of a scene, uh, especially if you're working in black and white as well. Like I said, I want that light. That light should be coming from behind us. So, kind of got this shape, this shadowy shape going on here. Those kind of exclamation lines for cartooning purposes. Okay, her face is kind of small, so I can't really get in shadow that well. But for the purposes of this exercise, it works. So now I'm going to just carry on. Um, let's, go, oh, let's do the hand in the foreground first. So to sell the hand, uh, these curves sell the direction of the fingers. There's a hand. I'm going to add some I don't want thick shadow on the hand so I'm just going to add in some like these lines here to act as a the shadow, get some a little bit of cross hatching in. And a little pool there to show that something bad has happened. Uh, go in with some thicker shadow in the hand. Actually, here we go. Yeah, change that to a thicker shadow. And then there's a bit of a drop shadow here. master at stuff like this is if you go look at stuff like drawn by Bernie Wrights and um, Jock as well uh, two, two like really great um, artists who kind of can sell like the horror of a scene using shadows and angles as well 
Um, yeah, so there's a hand. I'm just going to go in and finish this off then. Oh, actually, you know what else looks good? If we add some and shadow as well. And here, I'm going to actually put in, oh, yeah, some like lines so we got the door's shadow as well. And being sure to angle them the right way as well. Okay. Oh, the help of the door had a handle. And to finish it off, again, let's do some, let's have some lines coming from over here. Kind of cell, the light is coming from the, uh, from that door. And there we go that's how you um make a scene more intense um very cartoony style used today as well so i hope you guys have learned something um and you can go away now and when you create your own comics and stuff uh, you know uh, you have a better idea of how to um sell the scene um I'll see you all next week. Uh, next week we're going to be doing uh, drawing some monsters. So that should be good. Uh, thanks for watching and I uh, hope to see you again. Bye. Right, before I go, I just want to point out um, I have comics for sale. Um, we got the last nine here. Uh, special edition. Oh, this isn't the special edition copy. There's a special edition copy, but we got the last nine here. Uh, special edition issues. Uh, issue one. Uh, got issue two here and issue three as well if you like vikings and fantasy uh these are the comics for you and issue four is on its way also we have the dark emissary written by nigel trotman and drawn by myself uh, this is the first issue there is more on the way as, of this as well um think spawn meets john wick um martial arts goodness as well uh, if you're into martial arts this is the book for you but yeah if you're interested in buying any of these books um hit me up on the details on the end card now right bye everyone bye